Hello and welcome to another Modswell video, I'm your host Maxwell. I'm currently moving back to England, so I've recorded a few videos based on requests to help everyone watching whilst I'm away. Today I'm going to be taking a look at mod bundles and talk about the pros, cons and a few to look out for, so let's get started. I want to start positive and talk about some pros. This is largely from an Xbox perspective, so the first and most obvious advantage to using these bundles is the amount of mods that you can have installed at once. For those unaware, Xbox has a 150 mod limit. However, due to some ingenuity from the modding scene, we've been able to raise that number far beyond 150. This is allowing us over on console to really improve what we're seeing in our games. Another great benefit to these mods is how people bundling them are finding ways to cut down the size of the mods. Look at the Winter Sun bundle for example. This mod bundle is actually smaller than Winter Sun is on its own. This is due to Substill optimizing the files a little to find extra room without compromising performance. Finally, having these mods bundled is such a good way to get into understanding what mods work with one another. The people making these bundles have only slotted together mod packages that they know are going to play nicely. This will show new players what will work in stages for when they're making their own orders. There is plenty of reasons to like bundles, but I have to get down and do the negative part. And in complete contrast to the final point of the positives, you'll find the more bundles you're using, the higher the chance that you're going to have an unavoidable conflict. And I say unavoidable for one simple reason. Patching them isn't really all that possible. This is due to how patches have a file that they rely on being present to work. When you try and download a patch for things present in two separate bundles, the ESP required to activate the patch is likely not present. Essentially, every mod has a tag name when it's downloaded. For example, you downloaded a mod called Hello There I'm a Mod. Whilst you see that as its name, the game actually would see something different, something like Hello There.esp. You may have noticed this when a mod you're using is removed from Bethnet. Hopefully, a mod author can pop up in the comments and explain that better than I have, but that is a very simple rundown. So I'll move on to the next negative. And honestly, it's that the game is expecting no more than 150 mods. You'll start to find stuttering will happen when you reach those higher numbers. I was messing around with an order that had in the vicinity of 350 mods and at times it was like walking through treacle. The game engine simply could not handle all of the loadings and apparent ESPs at once. I cut that mod count down and discovered a little over 200 is when this starts to happen. If you're having moments like this, then I advise taking another look at what you have going on. Remember there are sometimes scripts hidden in these mod bundles. A few won't be an issue really, but too many scripts running at once can just be a loading nightmare. However, your game is going to be more complete with these mods, so the choice is really yours. I'm going to talk about a few modders who I think are making some great bundles worth taking a look at. Five modders I highly suggest keeping your eyes out for are Substills, whose bundles come in many shapes and sizes with graphical improvements, weather, lighting, combat or game mechanics, basically a little bit of everything. Skyfall515, who makes all kinds of mods as well, and for me, his QOL and bug fixes mod is present in each of my orders, but his tree mods, graphics and animations are all supremely worth checking out. Another modder worth looking at is Clofus1, who's made some absolutely brilliant mods, Weather, lighting and gameplay tend to be his speciality, however his mod Desolate Morning is worth building an entire order around if you want to play a Dark Souls style game. We also have Skyrim Leona, who is at the front of the quality of life mod bundles but also changes in-game events to feel more accurate as well as changing combat and making the game feel just far more correct. And last but not least is Snipey360. This author is bundling together entire gameplay and mechanic mods that are changing the game's feel, but also leads the charge in the anti uset movement, meaning you'll be able to have his mods without that master file. If this appeals to you, then you should really check the description where I've left a link to each of these authors. I'm just briefly going to talk about my overall opinion on bundles and how to best use them. And for me, this is quite simple. There are two ways to get the best out of them. The easiest is just to limit yourself in your usage of them to what you really want to see. Naturally, the QOL mods barely factor into those numbers, but the real mechanical edits and scripted mod bundles should be kept somewhat down to avoid slowing the game. The second way to utilize these mods, and in my eyes the correct way, is to just take some time to research the mods inside the bundles. Make sure they don't conflict and that on their own they aren't too heavy. Bundles are going to make your game better than it ever was before. They're the natural evolution to modding but it's even more vital to be aware of what you're using. Everything is going to be a little bit harder, from the balance to placement, where generally my advice is to put them where you put the lowest mod in the bundle. This is just going to help get them working, but it isn't perfect. 
You have to remember, this has a higher chance of blocking a different mod that you want to use, so it's going to take some trial and error. More than ever, being in a good community with helpful people is going to be needed. These are still fairly new though, and hopefully they will change over time. Personally, I'd love to see bundles made with mods in similar categories. Scry UI is a perfect example of this, as it basically involves mods that all belong in the same section in the logical load order, making for easier sorting. But that's just one man's opinion. Let me know in the comments how you'd like to see them move forward, and maybe even some bundles you'd love to play around with. But on that, I am going to call it. If you want to come and talk modding, maybe even with some of the creators mentioned in this video, or you'd just like to be a part of a friendly, active community, then please come and join my Discord. You'll find a link to that in the description below. If this video has been helpful and you'd like to see more like this, then please remember to like, comment, and of course subscribe. It helps push my work out further. Either way, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.